Welcome again to SOS Fix uh, Unis video. And today I'm gonna do a quick video about Toshiba A205. It's not a newer model, it's an old model. So we just uh, is a good example to show you how to check the motherboard. So first let me show you what this computer is doing. So when I plug the computer to the power I got a standby light is on. When I push the power, like the computer is on, the light is on, but nothing on the screen. And the computer is not responding to the power bar. If I hold the power bar, it's not going to turn off. If you look closely here on the screen, you're going to see a little bit like a flicker when I push the power button. So one, two, three. You can see that flicker. This means there is some power, little power going to the screen. But it's not, uh, the problem is not the screen. So let's uh, do some. Uh, So first I'm going to plug the computer to the external power supply to see how much uh, how much power the computer is taking. I'm going to set up my power supply at 19 volt. So plug this one, it's the positive, and this is the ground. So the computer is taking 20 milliamp. That's uh, very normal. I'm gonna push the power button. It's jumping to 170 milliamp. No display. So in this case, before you check the computer part, try to change the RAM. If you have two slots, just uh, test. One slot keep switching the RAM, put one here, then put the other one the same uh, slot, then this this one because sometimes the slot is bad. But this one already test the RAM, so I'm just going to show you the, the process to test the RAM. Yeah, the computer is on but still no display. Like I said, I already tested the RAM, why is not? Okay. So I'm going to plug the power uh, supply to the DC jack. So that's going to be more stable. And I'm going to test some voltage. That's uh, required for the computer to boot. So I push the power button. Then I'm going to check where is uh, the, of course we have the light here, computer responding to the power button, 
is mean the 19 volt is going to the motherboard and 3.3 volt is going to the motherboard it's going from the motherboard as well so here is a 1.1 volt So this voltage is for the RAM, so they are good. Here we have 5 volt, that's good, that's the, the power in the USBs and the other parts that require 5 volt. And I'm looking for 3.3 .3 volt, that's good. Are you chip at the pen 33 we have uh, here we have 3.3 volt at the BIOS the last pin if you count from the the first pin the last one it's gonna need to be 3.3 volt so if you have all this voltage it mean you are good to go uh, 1.1 volt 1.8 volt 3.3 volt and 5 volt plus the 19 volt. so you have this voltage in the motherboard the, the power supplies are good the computer is on we don't have the fan but the CPU is not warming uh, good enough. Yeah, the normal CPU is going to get hot quick. But this one is not. So, let me... You have another Intel uh, CPU. Yeah, this uh, processor is kind of cold. Doesn't get warm. It's supposed to be. Basically now is warm it's just from the the graphic chip. That's what is making the, the heat sink get warm. But on the side of the CPU is kinda nothing. The processor, the original processor, is a newer. It's a 2006, but this processor is a 2004. But kind of is the same speed, 1.73 gigahertz. Plug the power supply. We got the standby lights on. Push the power button. And we got the display. Okay. Still can see that.
So it's a dual core processor. It show like it's uh, there is two cores. And these are 1.73 gigahertz, and that's good enough. As you can see over there. Yeah, when uh, yeah, you can see like when you are fixing the computer, you will see a lot of computers, a lot of motherboards that's uh, missing some voltage, like five volt or 3.3 .3 volt, or uh, so. At that time, you need to check the around the power supplies. Or short head capacitor or the switches are bad or sometimes MOSFETs. In the future if I uh, face any of this, uh, these issues I'm gonna make a video. So the good working CPU should be get warm little by little. If it's get warm quick it means that uh, processor is something wrong with it. Or if it doesn't get warm at all you need to check that uh, processor. Uh, I hope uh, this video is going to help someone that's facing the same uh, issue. And uh, till uh, the next video, have a good one.